I'm writing this at the bus stop on the north end of Newton. I don't know where I'm going, and I don't know why. My instincts told me to run. I'm going to try to explain everything in this notebook so people will understand what happened. I don't know what's going to happen to me. In the end, nothing good. But at least I can leave this for people to read. Maybe they'll understand. I went to bed like every other night. I woke up tossing and turning. I couldn't get comfortable. I got up when I woke up enough to notice the bed was grass. I'd been sleepwalking again. I folded my arms around my chest because I was only wearing the bottom half of my pajamas. Not a good sleepwalking episode. At least this time I was still on campus, though. It was the dead of night and no one was around, clearly after the bars had closed. I didn't see a soul until I was almost in my dorm. After staring at the mirror a while, I laid down on the floor and tried to think till I felt normal. My mind was so fuzzy. I felt sick in a strange way. At first, I thought I was sick to my stomach, but then I figured out it was just full. I wasn't just sleepwalking, I was sleep binge eating. After a few minutes, or maybe a few hours, the phone rang. It was my best friend Joan. I'll try to copy down the whole conversation. Is Aliana there? No. Have you seen her tonight? No, why? She hasn't come home yet. No one we know has seen her. No one I can think to call. Well, no one who's answering their phone at least. So Aliana hasn't come home. That's no reason to wake everyone up. It's getting hard to write. I look at the pen on paper and it looks like scribbles. Abstract art. I understand it when I focus on it for a moment. It looks strange, like it can't be English. This is in my head. I hope it's not happening again. I'm better now. I don't think it's happening. It's more than that, Joan said to me. She was so scared. She thought she was being followed, stalked. She kept saying she saw something moving around. That was almost two hours ago, and I haven't heard from her since. Nobody has. Aliana overreacts. This is the girl who went hysterical when a cicada skin fell off a tree and landed on her sweater. Literally went into hysterics and would not stop screaming or listen to any of us for five minutes. Nobody's really stalking her. This didn't dissuade Joan. I'm scared. I know I shouldn't be. I know you're probably right. But she really got me scared. She totally lost it when she told me about the railroad tracks. What about the railroad tracks? She looked over, and she thought she saw movement behind the tracks. To fill you in, the railroad tracks that run through town are raised up about four or five inches above the ground where they go across the dirt by the river. She looked back, and there was a head peeking out, and she saw the eyes shine before it ducked back down. Isn't that creepy? An animal or a person? She didn't seem sure. First she said one, then the other. She told me the eyes were like a pair of amber bike reflectors that blinked. So animal? Uh, really neither, I'd say. Nothing outside her head. But I worry I'm wrong. And now I'm worrying. Thanks a lot. I know, I know, it's probably nothing. But I thought she could be at your place, and then I'd have peace of mind. Oh, I almost forgot. She never gave me her new number. Do you have it? It was such a trivial sentence, but I'll always remember it. The last thing I said to a familiar person. Hang on. A pause, and then ten digits. You'll never know the horror I felt when I felt the phone ring inside me.